This video will demonstrate the installation process of S5GC 25-50 KO String Inverter Series. Attention! Electrical equipment can only be installed and maintained by qualified electrical technicians. Please, read the user manual before installation and check whether the accessories in the box are complete. More than 500 mm space shall be reserved around the inverter. Using a level ruler to ensure collimation level. Mark the punch point with a marker. Drill about 60 mm depth with a 10 mm drill at the marked points. Insert the expansion bolts in the accessories into the four punched holes. Insert the expansion bolts into holes until the metal gasket touches the wall. Take out the nut and washer. Align to the exposed screws and install the back plate in correct place. Fix the back plate onto the wall using gaskets and nuts. Tighten the nuts using the 17mm socket. Fix the four corners of the back plate in the same way. Mount the inverter. Align the hook on the back of the inverter with the hole on the top of the back plate. Screw the fixing screws included in the package into the inverter fixing holes at the bottom. There are holes on both sides of the base for fixing screws. Grounding Cable Connection Connect the ground wires crimped with OT terminal to the ground point on the side of inverter. DC Side Connection Please use a multimeter to measure the open circuit voltage of the PV strings. Distinguish the positive and negative poles. Ensure the DC voltage is within the allowable range marked on the nameplate of the inverter. Please, refer to Soli's demonstration video for making of DC connection cable. When connecting DC cables, they should be connected in order according to the serial number marked on the body. AC cable and R's for 8-5 connection. Before connecting the AC cable, please remove the terminal protective cover at the bottom of inverter. Take out the AC terminal cover in the accessories. Rotate and unscrew the ceiling cap. Insert the AC cables through the AC terminal cover. Unscrew the screws on the AC terminal. Align the AC cables with the AC terminals. Fix the AC cables with screws. Use ours for 8-5 daisy chain method to build the multi-inverter communication system. Please insert the ours for 8-5 communication cables through AC terminal cover. Unplug the communication terminals inside the inverter. Insert the communication cables into terminals and tighten the screws. Please refer to the label on the communication board when wiring. Insert the communication terminals back into communication board. Fix the AC terminal cover with screws in correct position. Data logger connection. If you choose Jin Long Soli's data logger, please connect it to the COM1 port on the bottom of the inverter. Power on debugging. Close the AC circuit breaker first. Then close the DC switch. If the DC input voltage is greater than the startup voltage of the inverter, the inverter will start up after the self check is complete. The screen will show waiting after the local mandatory delay ends. The inverter will start normal operation. After watching this video, please refer to the product manual for full installation instructions.